Hello, Bob. Hope you're all well. A Chryso e Club Cleed. Welcome to the Cozy Club. I'm sure you're enjoying all these uh, different books and different members of staff reading them. I know I love reading books to children. It's my, one of my favourite bits of my job and I don't get to do it that often, so this is fantastic. Anyway, the book I'm going to share with you today is called, here it is, The Little Red Hen and the Year of Wheat. And this one is written by a lady called Mary Finch and the beautiful illustrations are by Elizabeth Bell. So, if you're all sitting comfortably, we'll begin. Once upon a time, a cockerel and a mouse and a little red hen lived together in a small brown house with a red roof. One day, the little red hen found a grain of wheat lying on the ground. Look what I found, she said to the cockerel and the mouse. I shall plant it in the earth. Who will help me? Not I, said the cockerel. Not I, said the mouse. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. She scratched at the earth and planted the grain. Who will help me water it? Not I, said the cockerel. Not I, said the mouse. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. She watered the earth and waited for the wheat to grow. The sun shone and the wheat grew tall and straight. When the year of wheat was golden, she said, Who will help me harvest it? Not I, said the cockerel. Not I, said the mouse. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. She picked the ear of wheat and put it in a basket. Who will help me take it to the mill to ground into flour? Not I, said the cockerel. Not I, said the mouse. Then I'll do it myself said the little red hen. The miller ground the ear of wheat into fine white flour. Who will help me make this flour into dough? You can join in this next bit if you like. Not I, said the cockerel. Not I, said the mouse. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. She mixed the flour into warm, yeasty dough. Who will help me knead this dough into bread? And join in again. Not I, said the cockerel. Not I, said the mouse. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. She made the dough into a round, shiny loaf. Who will help me put this loaf into the oven? Not I, said the cockerel. Not I, said the mouse. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. She put the loaf into the oven to bake. If you imagine it, you can probably smell that lovely smell of bread baking in the oven. When it was ready, she took out the brown, crusty loaf. Who will help me eat this warm, fresh bread? I will, said the cockerel. I will, said the mouse. No, you won't, said the little red hen. I shall eat it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Oh, said the cockerel. Oh, said the mouse. You didn't help me, said the little red hen. So I ate it myself, said the little red hen. 
But the next time, the little red hen found a grain of wheat lying on the ground. The cockerel scratched at the earth and planted the grain. The mouse watered the earth and together the cockerel and the mouse and the little red hen watched the wheat grow tall and straight. Together they took the wheat to the mill to be ground and together they made the flour into dough. And when the dough was cooked, the cockerel and the mouse and the little red hen sat down together and ate the nice warm bread. And it was delicious. And there we go. They all had a lovely meal at the end. And there's a nice little message, isn't there, in that book. Things really are better if we help one another. And don't let one person do all the work. And I'm sure at the moment you're all helping out at home as well. So, all for now. Diolch i chi am Thank you for listening. Hwylfawr. Bye-bye.